Hello everyone and now in this particular video we will see the docker basic commands okay as you can see on this screen the heading is the docker basic commands okay so we will see the these all commands to pull image to run the image to run the containers all those things we will see in this particular video so before starting the video I hope you have already installed docker it should be there in your PC to run all these commands okay and also make sure you are running docker in your background already I have opened up docker here in my background okay so i hope you have also opened it all as well so to run these commands we need one uh, c command line so you can use just windows cmd or powershell whatever you want it all depends upon you so i'm using cmd here normal okay and if you want to use some other you can use that by clicking on this plus icon and then here you can set as windows powershell and all those things or on this drop down you can check here i have ubuntu as well okay so all those things you can do so i'm preferring here a normal cmd okay so currently i will just divide up the screen between two parts okay to check the commands as well now i will first move into the different directory here actually so we are here at the different directory yeah and now to before starting the actual video so be, you should know about the docker hub okay what is a docker hub mm -hmm. so basically a docker hub is nothing but uh, you can see as the uh, marketplace of images okay you will get many different type of images there if you will search for docker hub you will come up on on this screen let me just increase the size here and just click on it hub.docker.com you will come upon on this and here you can search for any image which you want okay so today in this particular video we will be only using the hello world image okay in our next video we will see some other images like how we can use those images and how to run containers how to actually use the uh, UI or the console of that particular thing suppose if you want to install Python or use Python Then we will use Python image and then we will do all those things. So just let's search for hello world for now so Hello world is there. Okay And now what we will do uh, here you will see we have this image hello world image. Okay, you have to just click on it and from here you can find different things about this image you can check for tags what are the tags here latest is the share tags is there okay now what we will need to do we need to just uh, use these uh, uh, commands in our cmd so let me open up the cmd and the uh, my chrome browser as well this one now let's start with the uh, first thing which we will do is the docker version we will check the which docker version we are using so currently here you will see we are using 20.1. sorry 20.10.23 and the build is this particular thing particular number okay so this is the currently version which we are using in our machine right now so now the first command which we will be using in this now we will be doing pulling okay we will pull the hello world image so this is very simple uh, you will need to just do docker pull hello world okay so in every programming language whether it's c c++ java python swift any language I hope like you may have uh, wrote the first program as your hello world program okay so this time also we are doing the same okay so just hit enter and it will using the default tag as letters it means the uh, it is latest image or the latest version of that image you can say like that okay so here you will see we have currently uh, pulled this image hello world and now if you if you remember the concept of uh, docker image and docker container so we run a container from an image so image just acts as a class and the container as the object so now the thing is that now we will when we will run this image so it will create container for us okay so how how we can do it it's very simple you have to just uh, write this command docker run and the image name which we have currently pulled so image name is hello world so here you can see it uh, it successfully uh, executed this command so here you can see uh, the content of that hello world image is the 
hello from docker this in this message shows that your installation appears to be working all those things are there and to generate this image what docker did so all these things are mentioned in that image that's why it's showing here now now if you will see our the docker uh, ui so let me open the docker desktop and here you will see one container is showing okay so here you will see the uh, logs what are the logs were uh, there okay and the terminal nothing is there inspect is here okay files here in this one file we have hello name hello we have one file okay and here you can see the content of that file here actually okay so now the thing is if what will happen if i again run the command so what it will just create another container for me let's check and if i do just clear the screen and again run the com command so here you will see one more container has been created okay so it just like the class and the objects these are the objects okay of the images okay it means different containers are being run okay so uh, this one is about the uh, creating a container and all those things okay so i hope it is clear to you how you can pull the image and how you can then create a container from that image so you have to just pull image using docker pull and the image name and you have to create the container just using the docker run and the image name now next command we have in this list is docker pa so what it does it basically shows the current running container okay so currently it's showing nothing because we don't have any running container right now because it is all the containers have started and it is stopped and exited so here if you will see uh, on the ui here you can say status is exited okay that's why it's not showing any kind of container right now it shows us the current running container we will see all those things in our next videos when we will do, be doing on the python or some other uh, image then uh, we will see all those things which containers are currently running and all those things now moving forward if we will talk about the to check the list of all the containers then we have a option uh, we get one as the a or all we can say if you will do a so here you will see if i increase this one and here you will see the container id image is there when it is created status all those things we are getting so these are the two containers which we have created okay so if you will check for the container id then you will see up here on the ui we will have the same id that is if you will check for this one it's 903 and above one is c44 so it is same c44 and 903 okay so in this way you can check the uh you can check the all the containers which are there in currently in the system okay and similarly to uh, check for images you can check uh, using the docker images okay so before that let's uh, uh, check for how we can remove the container okay so this is very simple as you can see on the screen we need to just use the container id so how we can do it first i clear the screen and maximize it to it should be clearly visible to you guys so what is the command docker ps hyphen a or all you can use anything uh, sorry we have not deleted I think yeah hyphen a okay so now what we will do uh, we have to just use the docker okay and you have to use the RM and the ID which you have to use that is this one so here you can see uh, if you will again check all the container it will give you only one and if you will go on here and you will check there is also only one container is there now again to remove that container you can use the uh, docker rm and that container id so you have to just copy it and paste it done we are done now, now there is no any container in our pc right now here also you will see nothing is there okay so in this way you can remove the containers as well now moving forward in this tutorial you will see for what are the images present in our this machine so if we'll go for docker images so here you will see one image is there hello world image is there its tag is latest their id is given when when it was created it was created 17 months ago like you can see like someone has created this image 17 months ago now currently in 2023 we are using this image 
so this thing for like you can imagine how things have been changed uh, what are the like uses of docker can be you can think of that okay and also here you can see in this column we have size at 13.3 kb so now uh, let's check for uh, how we can remove the image so it's also very simple you have to just use docker rmi that is remove image and the image name which we have is hello world okay so something happened uh, no it's deleted now if we'll check for images so no images are currently there in our pc okay so that's all for today's videos guys i hope you liked it if you have any queries anything you can just ask in the comment section okay so this one is the command which we used now in our next video we will check for the actual implementation and all those things with some other images okay so that's it for today's guys thank you for watching i'll meet you in the next video thank you so much for watching